Hey, so this is video six of Div 2. This should be a pretty quick video. I'm gonna just continue off uh, from where I left off on the um, video five. And I was just explaining um, this order detail right here. It's just you, let's look at the order ID first. It says 204, so there's three 204s here. This order ID right here is gonna say um, 5,000, so 5,000, we go to chart of accounts, cost of goods sold, so this is how much uh, we paid for, I guess, uh, what is this, GSID 104, Blazing Saddles, so quantity, we bought 100 of them at $2 a piece, so that's, we now have $200 worth of Blazing Saddles, we just, that's what we just purchased. On this one, if you look at 105, Harry Potter, we just purchased $400 worth of Harry Potter DVDs. And right here is us actually paying for it in our cash account. It says negative 600 if you multiply that out. And that's what would go into the journal for this date and then the trial balance um, once you add up all the journals. Um, so let's see, then the next one, if we go to 205, which is actually a uh, a whole nother, uh, actually, yes, that's gonna be sales this time. So the previous one was us, us purchasing, that was purchase order. Uh, this one is sales. So let's see, uh, sales, so we're right here. GSID 104, which we know is Blazing Saddles, DVD, uh, quantity negative one. We only sold one of them this time, whoops at six dollars each which is right the price right here that's how much the customer would pay for it so we make a profit from it um, so we sold blazing saddles four thousand account let's look at what four thousand is that's sales of goods so four thousand and then on this one you actually sold harry potter at twelve dollars and you made uh, i guess eight dollar profit off that and right here is the cash for you actually paying, or for you uh, getting the um, the eighteen dollars cash from these two sales. So that's you actually getting the money, and this is you um, getting rid of your uh, blazing saddles and Harry Potter and your cost of goods sold, or uh, I mean sales of goods, four thousand four thousand account. Um, yeah, so just, you could, I think that should help you understand it a lot more. Um, let's see, uh, and there's really nothing you can't do now that you understand all of that. You can look at, uh, you could add in some more items here. You could add in, um, you know, some Star Wars DVD maybe, and then you could put in somewhere in here, you could say, uh, you could say another order happened on so and so date, you know, maybe seven to seven, two thousand eleven, and it was, um, so, you know, someone bought, you know, maybe Steve Jobs bought uh, a copy of um, Star Wars or a few copies of it, and so you would probably say, you know, negative. If you bought three copies, you would say negative three times the uh, cost of, you know, the pr I mean, the price of uh, Star Wars DVD. Um, but before that, you would need to stock up on the Star Wars DVD. You need to purchase it from the uh, supplier, which would be using the uh, five thousand ledger account. And um, you know, I mean, that's that's how it would work. You know, just you just think through it and uh, make sure you always update it down here. If you always if you ever change anything, you need to always update your accounts down here. One thousand account. I think this one's fifty fifty. Or 50 60, 50 60, I think. Um, yep, and rents 50 50. Paid in capital, so gonna be, yeah, it's 3,000, I think. Um, and all right, so it's a pretty short video. I uh, hope that helps. All right.